Hello? Did you really just miss the last episode of Sparks and Recreation? All right, it is Sunday morning. We're still here in LA. We we're about to run to the parts store to get parts for this, get a tire for the dolly, and get some of our maintenance done before we get on the road, so. All right, these guys got us hooked up. Getting another tire. We actually, they had a spare too. All right, he had a spare wheel just in the pile over here. Got another tire put on. So we have a backup for the dolly now. Look at all that tread, baby. So much better. Those guys are awesome, actually. Shout out to them. In a second, I'm gonna take a picture of their uh, either Facebook or Google page and put it on there. So if you happen to be out here, stop it. You guys so What the heck happened? You're wearing normal clothes though, dude. You're so. The van's gonna be wet now. Oh well. Did you have fun? All right, we're about to hit the open road for the first time to head home, checking fluids. She's up, uh, yeah, there you go, got a rag. Thanks, I gotta grab tools to do this. All right, so we just did our light check. Everything works. Uh, one of the running lights for the tail light over on the left side is out, but the turn signals do not flash, but they do turn on. So if I manually flash them, they work both sides. The headlight that we thought was out, I was able to get the spade into the back of it better and it turned on. So, as far as we know, it's kind of safe ish. So, hopefully, the lady at the parts store told me the right bulb. Most older cars use 1157 or 1156. So. Looking good. All right, so we found out that we just been chasing an issue for a half hour because everything stopped working. Messing with wires, and it turns out these shitty little fuses that somebody painted over at one point. Uh, one of them had a bad contact, so we're fixing things for nothing. All right, are we running? We're running. All right, so if you're ever in a pinch and you've just lost your gas cap in your 1960 whatever Beetle, what you do is you take up a bottle, you're like, man, it doesn't fit. You punch it down a little, get her in there. You gotta get it in far enough so your, ho your hood or your trunk and shut. You get the seal on there and then it'll keep the gas from coming out. Ah. As you press that down, it's gonna make a better yeah, seal. Yeah, it seals it right up. Oh. This hitting it will seal it right yeah, up. Yeah, All right, these are our spares. Let's get on the road. Quite the complicated menu. We did order a couple secret menu items. All right, we got our order here. We got cheese fries. What's yours called? Flying Dutchman Animal Style. The Flying Dutchman Animal Style. These are just double doubles with no, no sauce. No tomato, no onion, no sauce. Regular fries, a couple milkshakes. You did get the Neapolitan, even though I call it the Metropolitan. Metropolitan? Wait a sec, no, Neapolitan. I don't order. Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right, thanks in and out burger. Look at this line though, the line goes around the building, up, through this parking lot, wraps around. All right, we are 
we're back again. Speed bump. We're back in the Beetle. Actually, we're not in here, never mind. And we're going to a gas station to get gas. Good. Yeah. Why do I not have And now we're trying to get over a speed bump. Sorry, first, first gear was acting a little funny there for a second. We just got some paint markers. And I. Will the bug go? 4,000 miles. And I. Or 3,000 miles. I'm here to sleep. On this, we'll go. Cars all lettered up here. This is uh, we are officially about to start our true like 3,000 mile first jog to Florida. So we got everything ready. Try. Hopefully, if anything bad happens. <laughs> well, if anything bad happens, we have a dollar. But we have that thing. I mean, we're kind of doing it risk free, but still. I mean, I did pay good money for the car, so if I wreck it, then that really sucks. Nervous? Yeah. Come on, do it. Take it off and make me the biggest You should probably write it like this. Alright, here we go. We just left the target that was in. This is our last stop in LA. We got the cars all dressed up with their YouTube information. But it's probably our last stop. And uh, we are headed towards Albuquerque. I only can fit like seven gallons of gas, it looks like. So, in about 200 miles, we're gonna stop and see where we're at gas wise. Alright, we're gonna get on the highway and we'll get back with you. Nothing smells weird, seems to be driving alright. It's cut out like 
place on me, but I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe the road's fine otherwise. Just old car stuff, I guess. I guess we'll come back later, guys. Okay, we're good now. All right, so we're not sure why, but the key wasn't turning the starter on there for a second. Seems to be good now, though. All right, so I don't know why it wouldn't turn back on, but we're here. Let's uh, check gas and everything. Hey, that's a smell problem. Honestly, I couldn't smell anything. It doesn't feel that hot, actually. Metal's warm, for sure. Metal's warm, but... Ceramic there. This is not nearly as hot as people told me I mean, it was going to be. It's not like radiating fucking heat. So, I mean, like, if it was hot, hot, you would feel like. Yeah, if we were cooking it, then. Alright, we gotta get a rag or something. Ratchet strap is in the hood, yeah. Or, I mean, hood prop is under the hood. Alright. Uh, this one does not have a rag. So we've been about 100 miles, is what it said on my thing, since we left this morning. Well, I guess. Holy oh, shit. Oh, dude, we're fucking Dude, it hasn't lost, like, anything. Did you just look at Oh, it's yeah, smoke. Yeah, if I look at it. There's a smoke. It's not <laughs> black. It's it would be. Gassy, but not bad at all. So a little bit of blow by, but fuck, dude. What do you expect for fucking trying yeah. to go up a hill with it? This thing runs so good. All right, I bet you. I don't think that's fucking. Hey. But don't reach for one second. I think that's old oil. We're not keeping it. What, why? We're not keeping it's it. It's so good. You have to love yeah. it and let it go. Dude, it's so much fun to drive. <laughs> I mean, the belt seems like it's doing all right. We literally feel like this little tiny cockroach in the world of like well, huge have cars. To, <laughs> I'll have to go for a ride now. We're in the mountains and I'm freaking freezing. So I'm going to change how much gas is in it. Uh, I need, I need to get a light. Oh, I get a flashlight. Yeah. But the water bottle is all wet. So I mean, huh? uh, I'd say below oh. half. Oh, wow. So, we're gonna get about 200 miles per tank. Okay, so it's about, about half. All right, I'll top it off while we're here. All right, it is getting cold. Kids are switching over to long sleeve pants and blankets. You guys made me. Yeah, I made you because it's cold out. I would like to be cold. All right, we just got a running light working again and back on the road. All right, we are back on 15, heading towards Barstow, California. We're gassed up and it is dark out. Right now. 
get stopped. Uh, so. Uh. All right, I guess call mom and let her know we're going to this gas station up here. Okay. All right, guys. So what that was is the speed cable was going into the back of the tack. It's not threaded in all the way and it had fallen out. So it was like catching and swirling around making this crazy ass noise. Um, that's why it was directly affected with the, the speed we were going. So we pulled it out, put it back in, and uh, it, it was no longer making the noise, but we don't want to risk it again. So I have it pulled out for now as we're using GPS. This is our exit up here. Uh, the, the lights in the sky. We've been driving kind of through mountains for a while. That's where we're going to eat. It's called Route 66 Steakhouse or something. Or Roadhouse. Is that right? I don't know. It's fireworks. But anyways, the reason we decided to stop here is this is the beginning of 66 and 40. So it's called Kettleman's on Route 66. restaurants we got to be really quiet but it's Can a, I have a carrot? it's amazing <laughs> yeah buffalo wings yeah, bison these are juicing. bison chili it's fries mm. I see. wow they didn't <laughs> what did you guys say you said wow great. Great. oh that's so good yeah, there's more than four ribs. this is peppercorn crusted long there's island there's like seven eight and ribs yeah, like the barbecue rib dinner Oh yeah, looks so good. Gotta get the ambience. Mm, ambience. Yeah. Is it salmon? No, it's uh, it's ahi tuna. Oh, ahi tuna. What do you have to be really good, man? Really good. Your steak was really good. The tuna was really good. The pork was really good. It was really good. What do you think? It's really good, but you're not gonna want to get too close to me because those garlic mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was awesome. What do you think of yours, Maggie? It was all good. It had good flavor. Alright, we're on the highway again after eating. My one headlight is super dim again, even though I had gotten it working. I hit the bump before. It's not doing that now. This is Alice's first ride in the car because she's been riding with Luke. What do you think? Just outside the Mojave Preserve, decided to take a pee break about an hour and 40 minutes into the three hour drive. Check some fluids. It, does, it doesn't seem hot, but it's definitely warm. Uh, I've been sustaining 65 miles an hour for the last <laughs> almost two hours. So, I mean, that's a lot to ask of this thing. So I'm gonna check the gas. 
check the fluids on the oil real quick. We're, we have this open to let it cool off. All right, check the oil here. Nope. Oh boy, she's still there. She's it's not there. dark either. I, don't think I mean, I don't know. Distributor feels fine. That's hot on that side. But. I realize it almost looks like a view window or something there. I just noticed. So huh. I mean, honestly, man, if it's still going, good. Let's see, we'll just keep cranking. Yeah, hopefully the heat situation. Uh, oh, yeah, we end up putting a rag in. Well, not a rag, but. <laughs> it's the, the neck pillow shoved in the radio hole because there was cold air coming through. I don't know. New tire looks good. Bad, it right? doesn't look worn really at all. No, it doesn't look too bad at all. Awesome. Alright.